Broadest graph. Stop talking. Stop talking or leave. Leaving will be better for me. This is acceleration versus time graph. Minus two zero two. Ten. Okay, this is the plot. Done. Should I ask the question now? Particle moves in a straight line with AT curve. As shown in the figure, the initial displacement and velocity are zero. Initial displacement is zero and initial velocity is zero. Both are zero. Okay. Here are the options you have to tell me which of these options are correct. Multiple options can be correct. Basically, to find out time when velocity is again becoming zero, how much is that? And you have to find velocity at t equal to two seconds. You need to find uh, distance. You need to find distance it will travel before coming to rest again. You need to find time it will take to come to rest again, distance it will travel before coming to rest again, and you need to find the velocity of the particle after two seconds using the graph. So, what's the y coordinate? What? What's the y coordinate? Yeah, acceleration A. No, this is y. Yeah, this is 4. Sorry about that. This is 4. They go. Time, how much time it how much time it will again come to rest? How much distance will travel before coming to rest again? And then velocity at t equal to 2 seconds. These three things are asking. Could be correct. One of the options is that. And I'll tell you later. First, solve A and C also. See, I think part B is very straightforward. Acceleration is constant. V is equal to U plus AT. Simple. U is 0, A is 4, P is 2, A is 8. Done. I'll solve it now. Huh? The B part all of you must get. Because the constant acceleration, V is equal to U plus AT. Okay? I can understand A and C could be. You have to solve it graphically, okay? <clears throat> so I know that dv by dt is what? Acceleration. Okay? So dv is a dt. What is integral a dt in the graph? What is a dt? Area of the graph? A dt is the area of at graph or not? Right? And Limits for dv is what? From 0 to 0 it should be this from 0 to t. So integral should be 0. Right? Integral should be 0. Some of the all the areas should come out to be 0 if the particle is coming again to rest. In fact, integral a dt 
is final velocity minus initial velocity. If it is, if acceleration is constant, v minus u is a t. So now lower area you should take negative, upper area you should take positive. Getting it? Now definitely. Assume that at time t it comes to rest. So till t you find the area. This area you subtract from that area and it will get to zero. Now I, I now I don't need to tell you how to solve. All right, it is all mathematics. Find out this area. This area will be as a function of time or not? From here to here, it is what? What length is this? T minus two. This is T minus two. Area of depressive you can find out. Some of the parallel sides. This plus this multiplied by that distance. Okay, that area minus the above area, which is four into two, should be equal to zero. How you find distance? Distance travel. How you find out? Anyone? Okay. No one. But we, 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 we don't know V, right? Okay, you can do it like this. From here to here. Okay, then you write the equation of this line as a function of time. So you will get acceleration as a function of time. Okay, some equation of line you will get that will be equal to let's say f f function of t a is d v by d t. You integrate d v. You integrate this, and then once you get v, then you write v as dx by dt, and then again integrate, double integrate, get v, and then get x. Okay. Anyone? 
are not large circle. What is the equation of straight line? Y equal to rest plus C. So that's that's how I want a relation between x coordinate and y coordinate. Should I solve? Displacement is how much? Delta r will be equal to velocity to time. V into t will be the displacement. So this will be what? Two t plus one into t i cap plus three t j cap. And delta r is what? Final position vector minus initial position vector, right? So final position vector is equal to. 2t square plus t i cap plus 3t j cap rf minus ri is this this plus 4i plus 3j this is the position vector as a function of time displacement is change in position vector okay so this will come out to be 2t square plus t plus 4i cap plus 3t plus 3j cap. Now this is a position vector. You remember how we write position vector? Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, it's correct, it's correct. Sorry about that. But we will be doing it similarly. Here, integral of v t t is your delta r. Correct. Thanks. T will go from 0 to t. Okay, so when you integrate, you will have stop talking. 2t square by 2 plus t i cap plus 3t j cap. I have integrated from 0 to t. Okay, so this is a final position vector minus initial position vector. This is equal to t square plus t i cap plus 3t j cap. So final position vector is this plus 4i plus 3j. So t square plus t plus 4i cap plus 3t plus 3j cap. Understood this? All of you understood? Huh? Our integration v dt na. So this is 2t plus 1 dt integral i cap plus 3 dt integral j cap. So t dt will come inside. So it will be 2t dt plus dt. 2t dt integral is 2t square by 2. So I skip the first. Okay. So this is the final position vector, right? So x coordinate, you remember how we write position vector? x coordinate i cap plus y coordinate j cap, right? So x is t square plus t plus 4 and y is 3t plus 3, right? So from here you get the value of t as y minus 3 by 3. Substitute this value of t over here, you get a relation between x and y. That is the equation of the path. Eliminate t between x and y, you will get a relation between x and y. Okay? Understood? Now, let me tell you these are standard type of questions. These are, you know, one of those routine questions. Which you might be doing it for first time, that is why you may be facing difficulty. But then if I give the same question to our advanced batch, all of them will get it in a, in a, in a minute's time, all of them will get it right. Because they are used to seeing this. Time. 